Role models from 2008. Ladies and gentlemen, we got another Patreon request movie coming to you guys on the channel here today from the homie Alexander Collin. Shout out to him for requesting this over on Patreon, man. We got another comedy. I've been on a comedy kick lately, man. I just watched a couple of comedy movies in the previous weeks just based off what I wanted to watch, and this just so happened to fall in line with it. Comedies, man, especially the early 2000s comedies, you guys know they got a special place in my heart. This is another one of them. Hopefully, I haven't seen it. I did notice that Paul Rudd stars in this. I like him as an actor too, right? So it's gonna be interesting to see what we have in store. But guys, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna hop into this movie. Before we do, I do ask for you guys on the new channel. You do hit that subscribe button, comment down below what you guys want to see next, man. Drop a like on the video for your boy for reaction to be up on Patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff. New. If you guys wanna check that out, link in the description down below. But we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna hop into this movie. Thanks for everything. American Pie, <laughs> right? Oh boy. <laughs> what in the fuck is that? Is their, is their marketing truck for their energy drink? But whatever the reason, what should you say when someone offers you drugs? Say, no thanks, I'll have a Minotaur. Stay off drugs, Minotaur! Thank you. Man. Which is packed with caffeine, which is a drug. <laughs> Where can I pick Everyone one of those up legal, to gaze right? you? It's not a cow, it's a Minotaur. It's a creature of myth. And he got this one out of your mom's closet. She let me yeah. keep it after I fucked her. <laughs> it's the knockoff Red Bull. I've had so many of these things. I'm not kidding. I may wet my pants. Where's the bathroom? Your heart will probably explode. Holy shit. Dude, oh my god. This is like Shrek's piss. <laughs> Dude, is this all in the same day? No way, right? Give the kids an energy boost to stay off drugs. We're selling them nuclear horse piss for six bucks a can. What an accomplishment. Six bucks? And this was back in 2008. Surprise! Yeah! Woo! Got you, man! Got you! Oh, happy anniversary. Did you know? No. 10 years with the company? I wonder if he created this. Hopefully, we'll be tasting the beast for the rest of our lives together! It's yeah. early! The is out. <laughs> Classic. Getting up in front of a group of people and singing is not my idea of fun, all right? It's humiliating. I'm gonna say. Somebody save that guy. <laughs> Bro, this was the shit on Guitar Hero back in the day. What is your problem? Look, I'm sorry, all right? I'm not Wheeler. No goals, no ambition. Hey, you don't know how Wheeler feels. For all you know, he hates his job as much as you do. He loves that shit. You gotta find your purpose in life, man. If you ain't happy, that's the reason. Large black coffee. Do you mean a venti? No, I mean a large. He means a venti. Yeah, the biggest one you got. A venti is large. No, venti is 20. In fact, tall is large, and grande <laughs> is Spanish for large. Venti yeah. is the only one that doesn't mean large. It's also the Damn. only one that's Italian. Congratulations, you're stupid in three languages. <laughs> a large coffee. Really? Says who? Fellini? How much is that? Here's a 10. Do you uh, accept lira or is it all you euros? You know what? Just now? keep the change. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> Dude, he's right. I hate that shit. I'm like, can I get a medium? Can I get a small? Can I get a large? Fuck the venti, X, Y, and Z, all that shit. You know what I mean. The sun is shining, but you have lost the ability to take any joy in life. I, I can't stand it anymore. You're just a mm. miserable dick now. And FYI, it's called a venti because it's 20 ounces. 20. Venti. <laughs> the, hmm, she's right. <laughs> dude this she is what I happens no though when you're life. not living in your purpose and doing what you enjoy it affects other aspects of your life too man like i'm a dick and i'm i'm in a rut just going from school to school selling poison to our nation's youth it's not poison it's got juice in it and you know i'm 35 years old i got nothing to show for my life i didn't do it mr garvin hmm? i just don't know what other options we have you know because they have this clear videotape of you stealing a lot of TVs. <laughs> the end bald guy. <laughs> hey, hi. I need to talk to you. Uh, Danny, I'm uh, with a client, so we'll talk later. I can go. No, no. You stay. Hmm? I'm not going anywhere until you talk to me. Not the right time. All right, you were right. I'm a dick. I'm a dick. You're dickish. Yes, yeah, I'm dickish. I'm a dickish dick, and I'm in a rut. We're in a rut. Let's shake things up. I have an idea. Let's get married. I don't ever. Oh, my God. No. Why? Because despite this very well thought out romantic proposal i'm not that interested in becoming mrs dick in a rut heard that hey. really don't get married to get out of a rut 
You get married because you love someone and you don't want to spend your life without them. Who is this guy? Mm. Thank you, Mr. Garvin. He's a thief. Falsely accused. Yeah. <laughs> Stick into his story. You know, Danny, we do need to shake things up. I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm Break up. Out. Damn. Are you breaking up with me? Yeah. I mean, bro, getting married is not the answer. It's like somebody having a kid to save their relationship. Why do kids take drugs? Because they're awesome? <laughs> no, maybe they just understand that life is pain, and if you smoke something or take a pill, it'll go away for a while. Don't drink Ugh. that. Mm. Gin, gin. By the way, this stuff's poison. Damn. What the? F oh, hey, 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 hey! Oh, oh my God! Just to add on top. We're running. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, 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 no! Hey, what are you? What are you? Ha <laughs> <laughs> can't enjoy life. No! Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Right. Wait, what? Oh shit. Holy shit, man. You said I'm showing your drug. Oh! Oh my god! Dude, this is. <laughs> Stay off drugs. Way to make a bad situation worse. Destruction of school property, obstructing a police officer, attempt a grand theft auto. Oh, and Danny, they suspended your license. Did you know that? You know, if you think about it, this is kind of your fault. My no. fault. <laughs> it's your fault because you just. I worked my magic on the judge, and instead, over the next 30 days, you have to log 150 hours of community service. You're going to Sturdy Wings. It's the judge's favorite organization. Sturdy Wings is. <laughs> We bring uh, children together in a oh structured no. format to enhance the lives of these children through one-on-one -on -one friendship. Hence the term role models. In my 20s and 30s, I suffered through an endless cycle of failed relationships and constant feelings of inadequacy. This acting for this. I was a raging alcoholic. <laughs> to make matters worse, I had a massive drug addiction, no money, no <laughs> I'm addicted to helping. You don't need an intervention. Because sometimes in life, everybody needs... Dude, it's funny because these things... This is exactly how they used to shit, shoot shit back in the day. <laughs> I see a familiar face. Guilty as charged. <laughs> I'd already prefer jail. All right. That dude from Key and Peele in the back? First time at the program? Oh, God, really? You like switch with me. No way, dude. Martin Gary. I can always spot a newbie. <laughs> Perfectly acceptable hug between a little and a big. <laughs> La -la. This is not. Well, obviously, we're not supposed to butt fuck these kids. <laughs> like I'm out of handouts. <laughs> so why don't we take a little break, get a cup of joe. I know I'm going to put mine right in here. Maybe she's been drinking their energy drink because holy heck, where is all that energy coming from? I know why you're here. So don't BS a BSer. Okay. One call to the judge from me, and you are in the slammer like MC Hammer. Today <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a real long day. <laughs> the evil King Argatron has us cornered. Your fair lady Esplin, goddess of Nevelor. I fight for your honor. <laughs> Dude's in the role play. There's precious little time. <laughs> oh, what the hell? <laughs> oh my god. I wasn't really 100% yet. Don't judge me by that move. I'm not going to get in trouble, right? This is just this is just soft foam and duct tape. It can't harm anyone. No worries, mm. my lead. <laughs> it's a nice routine you worked out. I hope you weren't planning on slaying me. Yeah. <laughs> I want you to meet someone really special. And I think you two dudes are going to become real homies. Ronnie, this is Anthony. Notice how she changed his language. What's drawing there? Oh, Beyonce. She's smoking. I don't want to take my pants off. What? <laughs> All right, Ronnie, that's enough. This bitch tried to grab my joint. Language, Ronnie. <laughs> my language is English. And this motherfucker tried to grab on my hang down. Damn. Got my own hang down to touch, kid. Oh, yeah, it's one of the handful of my balls. Honky, yeah, that's <laughs> racist. Well, I trust you two will work this out. Not going to micromanage. Not my modus operandi. Damn. Bet him to the wolves. We can do this. We just got to stick together. Fine. Good. So, uh -uh. what do you do with kids? Hey, kids. Oh, my gosh. I don't think either of their kids would be into this. Yeah, I think. 
Little, little too old for this. Danny, I like Ronnie's version better. I like how it evokes the concept of ass and butt. Kid needs some discipline. So, uh, do you like Coca-Cola? I like the idea of it more than I actually like it. He's one of those. One minute you could be sparring with an elf, and the next you could be you could be battling against a troll who wants nothing more than just to steal your gold and leave you penniless. <laughs> Sounds gay. <laughs> Girls can be gay. If by gay you mean the old English definition of fun, enjoyable, and carefree, <laughs> extremely gay. I think they meant the other definition. I know, but to understand it, you really have to see it for yourself. Okay. Damn, man. Maybe they're gonna end up liking it. Oh! Greetings, nobleman! <laughs> Any friend of Bluffkin's is a friend of Kuzik. Recognize these two actors. And all hail! Xanthia! Hey, Xanthia! Xanthia. <laughs> <-dub> -dub. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they definitely get into it, huh? Whoa, who's that dork? Uh, my boy Chang! Well, I should've guessed. <laughs> Nothing says royalty like the burger hole. Yeah, he and his lackeys eat there before every battle. His majesty approaches! Oh, okay. royalty approaches! <laughs> you have to kneel before the king. Bow down. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because he's the king, I beg you. <laughs> well, you were right about us being a great match. Yeah. You know, like at Christmas when you get a gift? That's what Ronnie is. A gift. Mm. I love him so much. <laughs> look at that. What does that look like? <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> the, oh, my God. Open the door, Ronnie. You forgot to say, please. Oh my god. Don't turn that engine on, I swear to god. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. Open the fucking door, buddy. What are you doing? Do, 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 Badass do. kid. Do need some discipline. Ow. Hey. Yeah. Oh yeah. Give me my damn juice. Yeah. <laughs> fucking ass. Punk bitch. <laughs> Dude needs somebody who's gonna fucking actually issue some punishment. Hey Danny, wanna come see my turtle? I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> Turtles are dope. Turtles, tortoises. I'll see you tomorrow, Ronnie. Fuck you, Anson. Never gets old. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bad ass kid. Jeez. Come back, come on. You don't have to do this. I left you the crock pot. <laughs> I know you like chili. Uh, seven years, they said. Oof. Tough. You must be Wheeler. I'm Karen. Oh, you look way too young to be Ronnie's <laughs> mother. What are you, the babysitter? <laughs> You're going to need that sense of humor if you're going to keep up with my son. It's about time Sturdy Wings found someone who could. Or it's about time you start disciplining him. Watch your mouth, little man. Mwah. Love you. I love you, too. Dude ain't got no father figure in his life. You know, we are so thrilled that you are gonna be spending some time with Augie. Mm. It's like, get out of here, <laughs> leave home. <laughs> hey, why don't you come over for dinner on Saturday night? We can get to know you a little bit better. I don't think so. It's not you, I, I hate having dinner with people. Hey, Augie, you ready to? Uh... Yeah, let's go. Yeah. I mean, show a little interest in what your son's into, you know what I mean, shit. Dude. Now, as your daughter does. <laughs> daughter. Santhians. Why bother? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Dude just trashed him. People tend to avoid people in capes. I know that's not the case here. Look at these people. <laughs> that's kind of funny. You know, this isn't reality. It's not the real world. I know that, but in this world, I don't have to be me. I mean, dude, there's nothing wrong with your escape from reality. It's no different than somebody playing video games or something. Who are these clowns? Kiss? You don't know who Kiss is? No, never heard of them. They look like idiots to me. No, 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 dude, these are four of the smartest guys who ever lived. Yeah. They're Jewish guys that grew up in New York, and they put on guitars and makeup to get girls, and all their songs are about fucking. <laughs> Seriously, this song is called Love Gun, and it's about Paul Stanley's dick. Now this girl's gonna get some of his dick. <laughs> oh. 
I don't know Jews could sing like that. No, no, they couldn't yeah. at the time. That's why they had to dress like clowns. <laughs> Them girls? Get this. They've been getting pussy nonstop for 30 years. They're probably fucking right now. They're old dudes. They put makeup on and it's all good. No shit. Yeah. <laughs> She found a way to connect with him. So don't you come in here. About hours when you're standing over there and you're standing over there and I don't know which way is up. I think she might still be a little sick. Next time you want to bullshit me, bullshit each other instead. Okay? See how that feels. What? How did they... Huh? Let me tell you something. I am not your big. I'll hit you. I will hit a child. I've never done that before, but I will... Punch you in the face. Let's dance, Ben Affleck. Ronnie, leave him alone. Damn. Fine. He listened to him. She got some boobies on her. You sure do like boobies, Ronnie. <laughs> I sure do. Sometimes I call myself the booby watcher. This kid. Never stare at the boobies, kid. But how? It's called training. You don't think I've noticed the 34 C's in the camouflage tank top standing at yeah. the tent directly to the left of us? <laughs> Round mounds of grass shaped like boobies. Don't look over there. Look here. <laughs> yeah, focus. It started laying down coordinates and shit. Uh, I forget to tell you, I'm gonna be telling uh, just right uh, here, huh? stories later. You should stop by. Just right here, huh? Listen, I have an arrangement with my fiance. I'm completely faithful to him within the area codes of Greater Los Angeles. What? Out here, I'm just another woman who's ready to cheat. <laughs> In countries all over the world, children, many of them just like you, are abducted and sold into the world Damn. of underground sex trafficking. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, no. You there, Danny boy. That is a scary story. Story time is over. Everybody, let's break into our group. Dude said, don't ask me for no for fucking Martin's story. Midnight mystery hike. <laughs> Augie liked that, though. Each of them are kind of connecting with the kid. Honey, who's engaged? Oh, yeah. You know what? Don't worry about it. I'll make do with three each. Uh, what? Where's Ronnie? So Ronnie's out on some kind of hike. Where's Willie? Really? He's having sex with a married lady. Are you sewing? Mm. Yeah. This is my country's emblem. This makes me want to go camping. So do you have a girlfriend? <sighs> what? Why would you ask? <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're always uh, looking at the cap. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. You're always looking at her. Uh, you mean Esplan, the goddess of Novel Roar? I don't know. Probably. Her name's Sarah. <laughs> Sarah. Oh, Sarah. You ever talk to her? No. I've killed her a couple times in battle, but that's not related. <laughs> Fuck. I gotta pee. Oh no. The kids are gonna come out here, aren't they, on their hike? Did you know that dinosaurs are not extinct? Because <laughs> birds are dinosaurs. And they're everywhere. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I gotta pee. Really gotta be. Damn. Oh no. The Willow. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> How did Wheeler come to be naked in the center of camp? He was sleepwalking. Danny ever what? offer you drugs? Answer him. No, ma'am. They're covering. So to you. They're covering for him, man. I mean, most of it was true. Thanks, guys. Suck it, reindeer games. I'm not Ben Affleck. Uh, you're white, then you Ben Affleck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're white. That's true, I am white. <laughs> <laughs> Take that as a compliment, man. <laughs> They're having fun, dude. <laughs> Fuck my Damn. <laughs> Sorry. They're somewhat finding purpose in life, man. <laughs> All hail Lunesta! Hail Lunesta! How's it going? Lunesta? Isn't that a sleeping pill? Because I send my enemies to their eternal resting place. <laughs> to sleep for chance, to dream. <laughs> Damn. Dude's gonna end up actually liking it, man. Giving it a chance, right? The only one here in normal attire. <laughs> Prepare for ugly Kraken! Damn! There's the king. The king is unprotected. I shall approach him from the rear. Hmm? 
Dude's gonna try and flank him, but that might be bait. This he slay me. He doth not slay the king. You weren't even here when it happened. Was too here. Everyone, I'm, I'm telling you the truth. I killed the king. Why don't you believe me? I, I swear I killed him. weep like a maiden. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> You're lying. I can tell. Danny, stop. He killed you. Give him your hat. It's a crown. Give him your hat. Danny. It's a crown, dude. <laughs> Damn. It's a piece of plastic. <laughs> okay. oh. Game over. You both are disqualified from Lair. Forever. What? Damn. Dude's a fucking cheater. Ah! <laughs> Look, it's gonna be okay. No. To be fair, he was standing up for him. Whatever. No wonder your girlfriend left you, you asshole. Damn. I mean, to be fair, he was standing up for him. You know what I mean? Yo, Will, what's up, man? Hey, what's up? Okay, kid. Yeah, <laughs> what I said. Excuse me, miss. Yes. You say she like a chocolate strawberry. <laughs> That's Will, my PIC. Partner in crime. Nice. What is this, OG FIFA? No, no. Hey, I'm gonna rock the sport, so you watch the kid for a few minutes? Good thing. You're the king, Will. You're the king. Oh no, dude, don't let something happen to this kid while he's gone. What are you doing here? I wanted to talk to no, you. No, I don't want to talk to you right now. Hey, Danny, you decided to come for dinner. Great, come on in. Yeah. <laughs> dude, son's gonna happen to him in it. Sit down, young man. Oh, you have been a bad boy. I've been. Uh. Even though this is one of my top four all time fantasies, I can't, yeah. okay? I want to, but I gotta go find my friend. Yeah. Son's gonna happen to Ronnie, man. You don't call me the king of this game for nothing! He's gonna think he left him, huh? Got abandonment issues. Hey, Augie, when I was a little kid, I accidentally crapped my pants in front of a girl I liked, so I what? feel your pain. Well, he likes girls. That's a good thing. That's a surprise to me. He's normal. When I was his age, I had four or five girlfriends at one time. Didn't I tell you that? He was he was fucking his cousin. I wasn't fucking my cousin. I, I... That's not normal. Do what makes you happy. Hey, buddy. I'd like you to leave now, please. I'd be psyched if he was please. my kid. Gotta support your kids and what they want to do, man, even if you don't understand it. That you're our kid. We're psyched. I'm so psyched, I can't stand it. Your mom's psyched that you're her kid. You're her kid. Where's Ronnie? This is Ronnie, dude. <laughs> Ronnie just got in. He walked all the way home. What the hell? Damn. I don't know. Parents don't want you hanging around with their kids for some reason. So, you BS <sighs> a BSer. Good for you. I hope you feel good about yourself. God damn it. She gets so mad. Hi, King. No, no, no. I don't mean to cause trouble. I just wanted to come by and apologize uh, for the way that I behaved last time. The butter knife? I, I accidentally cast a, an unbreakable madness spell on him. That was stupid. I know, right? I, I didn't mean to. You guys are reckless out there. Yeah, unsafe. Okay, I had a protection spell on me, all right? But it had faded off when you touched me, so don't flatter yourself thinking you can back <laughs> okay? If he be so brave, why doth he not show his face here today? Do you fight all his battles? Hmm. He knows not I'm here. <laughs> we shall see him on the battlefield today. Thank you. Thank you, noble. But... Really? Mm-hmm. You know yep. what you wanted. <laughs> Make it known to the Xanthians that if they let Augie fight with them, we'll destroy each and every one of them without mercy before the first apple cider break. <laughs> You're just gonna try and embarrass them more. Fucked. Hey, okay, you need to listen to me and listen good. I am a very animalistic woman. A very... Uh animalistic woman and if you let anything bad happen to my cub i will claw your ass up until you shit sideways <laughs> i'm determined to make it up to him right what i'm trying to say is that when i get out of prison can i hang out with your 10 year old son yeah <laughs> well look i'm sorry okay i know i don't deserve it but sturdy wings are no sturdy wings i want to be your bacon <laughs> okay i'm your little you're my big. I like that. 
Dude didn't give up on him, man. We'll start our own country. We can't. All my costumes have the same colors and same symbols as Xanthia. Besides, you can't start a country with two people. What's the minimum? Four? Oh, shit. Wheeler? What do you want, asshole? Actually, we need your help. Damn, they're gearing up, baby! Yeah! <laughs> Badass entrance! I can't believe my eyes. <laughs> Dude, the kiss! <laughs> the kiss makeup! Hey! Brothers and sisters of the new nation of Kiss My Anthea! I Kiss my Anthea. <laughs> I've let the naysayers of this world bring me down. They used to say, you shouldn't fight. You should be embarrassed of yourself. Yeah. When the elders speak of this day, they will speak of the courage of Kiss my Anthea. Of the <laughs> spaceman. The demon. <laughs> the star child. And me, the cat. And let's rip this row a new asshole! Yeah! Yeah! What the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> yeah, and kiss my Anthea be allies. King Argatron be damned. We fight with you. Try to kick me out. Fuck him. It's a fight to the death. About time. Let's rip this shit up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> my man been waiting for it. Oh, snap. No. Wow. They going to turn on him. I told you I wouldn't have let him fight fought with me. Nope. They killed you, so you have to die an honorable and noble death. Okay, I think I can do that. Fulfill your destiny, Brufkin. Kill the king. I will kill the king. I will kill the king. Yo, she kinda killing it. You lost an arm, honey. Yeah. Yeah. Augie coming in for the save. Nice one, dude. Hey, yeah. yes, Flynn. Thanks. <laughs> okay, see ya. Yeah, <laughs> so awkward. Oh no. <laughs> Everybody's here. <laughs> Where's his boy? <laughs> Damn! Fun though, right? It's a blast. It's contagious, I know. Totally. Come back next year. <laughs> we need people. Okay. Give me your yeah. email. <laughs> Dude's cool with him now. It's that guy from the burger hole. Aw. He seems to be wounded. Shall I take him out, sire? Nay. This one is mine. It's bait. <laughs> the elevator back there. <laughs> the lemon. <laughs> Did Augie take out his boys? Yep. <laughs> so got your ass. Didn't I teach you a lesson the last time? I think you're afraid I'm going to kill you again. In front of everyone this time. <laughs> Aye. Damn. <laughs> he has to. He has to this time, right? Everyone's watching. <laughs> He's like, "What are you doing here?" <laughs> Damn, that's right, she was still alive. I'm hiding the bushes the whole time. That's a pretty smart strategy. Thanks. Queen Esplin of Navalor. Damn. <laughs> what? We are very, very proud of you. Thanks for trying to be nice, Mom. Jim? They gave it a chance. They gave it a chance and things worked out somewhat. Now that I'm queen, I was wondering if maybe you want to be my king? Yeah, I love, I love that. Should I kiss you now? <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> that awkward stage of being a teenager, man. Beth, I hear you calling, but I can't come home right now. Ooh. Me and the boys are slaying. None of these lyrics have anything to do with what I want to say. <laughs> Beautiful smile and your positive attitude and your whispering eye. Eh, whispering eye. <laughs> we don't have to get married, but I'm still in love with you. We can just be together. Tim Robbins and Susan Sarandon. Good acting. <laughs> <laughs> At least he didn't propose again. But they both finally, you know, had purpose other than themselves. They found a, some type of purpose in life, right? Role models from 2008. It is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. Good comedy overall, but I also like the message in it, man. Just happiness in general, right? Like, you see at the start of the movie, both of them are just in their everyday shit, you know, work obviously wheeler he's happy with his work and the stuff he's doing but he doesn't really ever he, he doesn't really have a true purpose in life per se you know what i mean obviously danny paul rudd similar situation but he's not happy with the work he's doing and you just see that in his life man like he's talking about being happy in a relationship the thing people do too much i feel like not just nowadays but in general man like people try and find happiness in someone else or in a relationship and it's like you don't do that bro you got to find happiness by yourself and in yourself first and then you be happy with somebody together right like you going to be with somebody might make you happy during your honeymoon honeymoon phase so to speak and that's why you see relationships like these people get together they're super happy and then they crash and burn because they're not truly truly happy they're just in that honeymoon stage man you got to find purpose in life and happiness in life dude and that doesn't mean like having all this money going out partying vacations x y and z like i think finding true happiness is finding your purpose in life man like right now dude like i'm doing a bunch of stuff outside of youtube and i'm more tired than i have been in a long ass time i feel so fulfilled with the other stuff i'm pursuing outside of youtube man you know what i mean and like it's it's my purpose in life and it, it just i get such personal satisfaction out of it man and i just feel so good like i'm tired as hell but i feel so good about it man and like i'm happier and things like that and I, I i'm still like i still love doing youtube i'm blessed to be able to do youtube and and have this as a source of income and everything like that and be able to inter interact and entertain you guys and stuff but like there's other things in life i'm pursuing too that just eh, i feel like are my true it is my true kind of purpose in life and it's just man like if you aren't happy in life you got to go find your purpose dude you know what i mean and like i said finding your purpose is is important you might be more tired you might feel you know more worn out and stuff but at the end of the day the thing that matters is that you come home or get home or when you get in bed at night essentially that you sit there and you feel satisfied with what you did that day man you know and a lot of people like i said think it's just having money being able to go on vacations all this and that but dude even after after doing that for a while you're not going to be happy doing that anymore you know what i mean like you got to have something you're pursuing and working toward in life to feel happy and feel complete i feel like man because i've noticed at different points in my life when i'm not really working towards something per se or when I'm not pursuing something that I know I want to pursue just because, you know, maybe I feel like I can't do it or maybe I f tell myself I don't have enough time or maybe maybe I just feel like I don't necessarily need to. I feel like during those times, I always notice I'm less happy. And then when I'm pursuing something, I'm like, man, I'm so tired, but I feel fulfilled and I feel happy. You know what I mean? And like, I know this movie focused on some other stuff, too, but that's just it, man. Like, if you're not happy in life right now, take take a step back and, and look at your life and figure out, you know, do I have a purpose, right? Do, am I working in my gift, so to speak? Am I doing what I want to do with my life? And the, if the answer is no, change it. Fantastic movie. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section down below. Like always, also, if you guys did enjoy this reaction video, make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button for reaction to be up on Patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff. And if you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. What is going on, guys? I hope you all did enjoy that video you just checked out. If you did, make sure to drop a like and comment down below. What is something you guys want to see me react to next on the channel? I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on Patreon, man. Shout out to the homie That's So Gordo, the homie Alexander Collins, and the homie Christopher Larimer. Your guys' support is much appreciated. If you guys haven't already and you do want to join the Patreon family, the link is on screen right now, as well as in the description down below. You get early access to a bunch of videos up to two, sometimes even three weeks in advance 
full length reactions and you get to participate in polls to help decide what we do and what we react to on the channel but i hope you guys all have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one